This is workshop number two, where we develop an app for Garmin Forerunner 965. And today we are going to work on our view file. Here is our view file. And here we'll declare a new variable. And we will call it top key meaning top of the key. And now let's go to function on layout. And right here, our new variable. We'll tell it to find value find object in drawable we will call it just like that top key now we go to our layouts layout xml And we will add new new object. ID will be top key. And we will take our ball image. And here's uh, the position we want it at. So X coordinate will be center and Y coordinate. Don't ask me how I know it. 426. So pretty much that's the number uh, in pixels from the top of the screen. So 426 will be right here. So we need our, we want our ball here. Now we go back to our view file and here, okay, we already done this part. We go to our function called onUpdate and here what we want to do there. If position equals three, top key, draw. Um, let's see what we have and we expect our object, ball object to be drawn at position three. We run without debugging. And we have it here, you see. Uh, now let's make another four objects with different positions for each of our positions. have all five objects with their names left corner left wing right wing right corner and their correct coordinates I had to experiment a little and here they are so it's the same file but different coordinates now we go to our view file and we declare four more variables here and in this part we tell for each variable to get an object from drawables. In the uh, onUpdate function we make four, four more statements and if position equals one we draw left corner ball and uh, here for all five positions. What we want to do here 
on update. Clear all objects from the screen. Accept uh, background. We draw background each time. Yeah, I forgot to add background as a variable. Let's declare it here. And here. Background. What was the name? Half court. Okay, this been done. We expect everything to work. So let's save it and let's run it without debugging. On a button press, our ball moves to the next position, moves to first position. Let's try to click one more. Nothing happens as expected. And now down. And if you click more, nothing happens as expected. So that's all I wanted to do for now. Uh, now let's try to do this. Command Shift P, build for device. In this uh, folder that we created, release. So here is uh, the app that we build in our folder. And I connected my uh, watch to the computer. Let's just drag and drop this uh, PRG file to apps folder on the phone. Sorry, on the watch. All right, and now I will show you how it works on the watch. Here is how it works for now. Uh, we select apps, and at the very bottom, we all can see our splash app. And it works just like on, on our computer screen. Uh, we press button and position changes. So I plan to develop this app further and uh, you can select one of the positions and uh, the watch will offer you to take 20 shots um, from this position. So if you want to follow development of this app, you may want to subscribe to my channel and in a couple of weeks I will get new episode uploaded.